Nigerian Tobe Amison unexpectedly broke the 100-meter hurdles world record in Eugene, reviving the discussion regarding the sport's newest super shoes. On a night when Mondo Duplantis also broke his own pole vault world record, Amison ran a staggering 12.12 seconds in her semi-final to beat Kendra Harrison's old best by 0.08 seconds, smashing her personal best time by nearly three-tenths of a second. Michael Johnson, the former world record holder in the 200 and 400 meters, questioned right after the race whether the timing equipment at Hayward Field was off. He was far from alone. However, it transpired that Amison had been given a boost by using Adidas Adazero Avanti shoes, which are designed for 5 kilometers and 10 kilometers runners, rather than track spikes. After running even faster to win gold in the final nearly two hours later, Amison revealed she had accidentally stumbled on the idea of using the shoes, which have extra bouncy foam, after injuring her foot. Adazero Avanti has been billed by Adidas as like hitting fast forward and promise the shoes provide a snappy, propulsive ride with high traction and reduced fatigue so one can finish 5 kilometers and 10 kilometers races with a kick. There is nothing illegal about the shoes, with current world athletics rules dictating that sprint spikes cannot have soles thicker than 20 millimeters, the same as the Adazero Avanti. The new breed of super shoes does appear to particularly help hurdling events, with Sydney McLaughlin also breaking the women's 400-meter hurdles record wearing New Balance's latest model earlier this week. Until now these shoes have always been used for long races, but the benefits for Amusen were obvious as she flew high over the hurdles and into the record books. According to Amusen, who ran 12.06 seconds in the final, only for the wind speed of 2.5 meter per seconds to make it ineligible for record purposes. Her abilities are not centered around spikes. You know, I'm elated. It's been a journey and I'm thankful to God for keeping me healthy and I couldn't be more thankful to have come out here with the win and the world record. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> Just trying to stay calm because usually I tend to pressurize myself going into competitions because I put a lot of expectations on myself knowing how much hard work I've put in and but this time I just said you know breathe have fun and let God do his thing and I'm thankful. Amusen added that she had patellofasciitis at the beginning of the season so that set her back for a while. She then spoke to Adidas and requested if she could get spikes with a softer sole. They recommended a lot of stuff however she feel comfortable in the shoes so she was using them basically the entire time. Tobe Amusen, the Nigerian track and field athlete, specializes in the 100 meters hurdles and also competes as a sprinter. She won the 2022 World Athletics Championships in the 100 meters hurdles, setting a new world record of 12.12 seconds in the semifinal, then a 12.06 seconds in the final. She was the 2018 Commonwealth, and 2018 African champion and is also a two-time African Games champion in the event. She won the Diamond League Trophy in Zurich in 2021 in the 100-meter hurdles. Amusen showed a lot of athletic potential from an early age. She was a silver medalist at the 2013 African Youth Championships in Bori. In 2016, as a freshman for the University of Texas at El Paso, Amusen became the second athlete for the university to be named Conference USA Female Track Athlete of the Year since the university joined Conference USA. In an interview with WorldAthletics.org, Toby Amusen revealed that she started hurdles by chance. This started at the age of 13 years when she intended to compete in the sprints and long jump event, only to realize by the time she arrived that the only event remaining on the program was the hurdles. Her coach then encouraged her to take part and she ended up winning, which is how her hurdles journey began. She continued to do sprints and long jump for a time, but also squeezed in one hurdle sessions a week. She continued to perform well, but what propelled her into hurdling full time was that it was tough to make the Nigerian national teams for the sprints 
so she decided to enter the hurdles of the Nigerian trials for the African Junior Championships. She won and went to Ethiopia in 2015, 100% focused on hurdles. During this even, she won African Junior Gold in Addis Ababa, and from that point on there was no looking back in competing for hurdles. That sums up our video for the day. Hopefully she fully challenges herself and breaks more records. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next video on your screen, which looks at the 10 most beautiful women in sports track and field. As always, make sure to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos.